Okay, excellent. So this is it. John Gregory, Blue John, how are you? I'm great, thank you, Greg. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too. So we're gonna we're gonna do this interview and then we're gonna we're gonna have our conversation, you know, before Toby's gig. So for, for for those who don't know, we we are both supporting Toby Walker, you know, me me and you on his last uh, date and obviously you're gonna play with him for the whole tour, right? That's right, I'm the support act for the whole tour. And what makes um, this last date at the Colour House Theatre on the 26th of September so, so special is the fact that it's the finale of the tour and that, Greg, you're also playing. I mean, for a big part of this particular concert for me is actually going to see you in action, uh, Giant George. I'm so looking forward to it. It's going to be one of the highlights of the tour. Oh, thanks, thanks. So listen, you know what, so let's, uh, you know, this is going to be probably on the website of the Color House Theatre for those uh, who, who want to check out Toby Walker and obviously they see your poster there, you know, you're, you're on the poster. So who is, uh, who is Blue John? So I'm a singer and um, guitar player. Um, I live in the Isle of Man and uh, I'm also the, the uh, Toby's agent for this tour. So I put all the 12 dates together. And I think, Greg, perhaps you were the first person I actually contacted because you've been in touch with Toby about, about getting this gig together. And it's quite funny, you were the first person I think that we, we had dealings with. But your show is the last show of the tour. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So listen, could you, could you tell us something about yourself, uh, like um, about uh, your guitar playing, how long have you been playing, uh, you know, your music style influences everything? Every... So I guess I've been playing about 20 years, and perhaps a bit like yourself, I started off with sort of pop and rock style playing, and then I really found the um, acoustic blues, and once I discovered that, I decided that's really what I wanted to do with my life because I'm just so passionate about this music. So my big heroes are people like Mississippi John Hurt, Big Bill Broomsey, Elizabeth Cotton. And so I play a few of their numbers. Uh, so like alternating, alternating bass is sort of the style and the sort of a gentle finger picking. And I play a lot of, I guess, traditional songs that we don't even know who wrote them, uh, you know, going back perhaps to the 19th century. And I just love this music. I think it's great. It's timeless. It's utterly timeless. And we know that Toby takes it in a, in a great direction because he combines this music from the past, but he's also an amazing lead guitar player. So he does both at once, you know. Uh, but just like yourself, I'm totally influenced by these people from a bygone age. Excellent, excellent. So listen, uh, do you do you play slide guitar as well, or you just do fingerstyle mainly? I, well, for the tour, I'm just going to do fingerstyle, because although I do play a bit of slide, I must admit I've not been doing as much slide recently, and I've been focusing more on just this uh, nice finger-picking playing. Cool. I mean, I must say that, uh, you know, I, I share the same passion for, for, for that old uh, style of playing, because... Uh, in a way, it's kind of refreshing, you know, guys like Sun House, you know. It's, 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 it's crazy what, what he's done and, and all those kind of rhythms that you didn't expect, you know, to happen in, 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 you know, 1920s, 1930s. But then if you think about this, you know, this is how all those guys like Led Zeppelin, you know, got all, all those influences from, you know, those... They, they probably went back and listened to this old stuff, right? And That's right. I think, I think that's how a lot of us find that music, that we go back in time. Uh, and we start with these modern rock bands or more modern rock bands and go back and we who influenced Led Zeppelin well Robert Johnson Sun House etc then we find those players and if they had influence he said we then find the the players that influence them too yeah it's, it's, it's great it's great okay so what, what else let me just see what's on my list of questions so do you do you do you play in the band uh, at the moment or you you just go solo well, for the tour, it's just me solo, um, but I also do have a duo, and I've been playing in the duo for 12 years, uh, and we're known as Blue John and Papa Cass, and um, the person I play with in the band is a harmonica player, and he, and he also sings as well, Tim Cass, but for the tours that I've been doing, it's been me solo. Oh, great, and obviously you do come to London, right? You, you played in London recently, right? Yes, I was in London in uh, March this year, and uh, I played at the 
Uh, welcome to Soho Club, where Toby's also going to be playing on this tour, and also at the Green Note as well. And that was when I was supporting the Erin Hart Country Blues duo. So that was a wonderful experience. And the Colour House Theatre, I've never been there before. It looks an amazing venue. Probably one of the probably one of the most special venues on the tour, I would say, uh, and, a, and a great place for the finale of the gig of the tour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is this is really crazy. I mean, it's special place. I mean, very historic. You know, I'm I'm gonna sh send you the links. You know, I mean, there's a lot of history in that area. To be quite honest with you, I mean, uh, you know, we can we can we. I'm gonna just just add links to under the video. You know, when 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 it's edited, so people can check it out. Uh, okay, okay. So so what uh, what people can expect from you? You know, on uh, during the tour. I mean, what what kind of songs are you playing? Do, 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 can you share some of the songs that you're gonna do? Yeah, so um, I've just got a new album that's that's going to be out in time for the tour. Oh, wow. And it's sort of a mini album. Uh, it's an eight-track album, but I think the running time is only something like 20 minutes. So it's pretty short. But uh, the sorts of songs I've got on that, I've got things like Make Me a Pallet on Your Floor. I've got uh, When the Saints Go Marching In. Um I've got Hard Times Come Again No More, which strictly isn't a blues song, but it was by Stephen Foster and a great traditional song, and I think it fits in with the other material. Uh, I've got a version of This Old Hammer. So it's all, um, I guess, songs that are in, in the public domain, and um, but lots of our blues heroes, of course, played those songs. So obviously John Hurt was did a version of Make Me a Pallet, as did quite a few other people. Stagger Lee's on there too, which is a song I really like playing. So those are the sorts of things. And I'll be playing a couple of things that are not on the album as well. Uh, so maybe a bit of the Big Bill Broomsy, and, uh, who, as I say, I've got a, a great admiration for. And in fact, last year I had the great experience of playing his Big Bill Broomsy's actual guitar in Chicago, which has not sunk in yet. I don't think that will ever sink in. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I saw this video. You know, I saw this video on YouTube when I, when I checked your channel, right? It's, it's, it's cool, right? It must be great experience, you know, great feeling, you know. Oh, absolutely. And it's hard to think that I've done that. And, you know, it, there's lots of other people who've played that guitar too. Um, but to think that Big Bill once had that in his hands, and it was the guitar that he used for virtually everything in the, in the late 40s and the 50s. So it was a really special guitar. It wasn't just like a guitar he owned. That was his real workhorse guitar. So how actually did you manage to, to do that? I mean, was it some kind of music shop? Because it looks like a music shop, right? Yeah, well, it, it was a music shop, but it's a, it's part of the old town school of folk music in Chicago. And actually, it was an amazing story how I ended up playing that guitar because one day on Facebook, there was a, somebody had posted a picture of the guitar in a, in a case. And... Um, I reposted the picture and I put, this is my dream guitar, I wish I could scrape the DNA off it. And then Eric Noden, who is a great country blues guitarist, who I know, and um, he, he's taught at Blues Week in the UK, and he's from Chicago, and he actually used to teach at the uh, Old Town School of Folk Music, and he still does some workshop there and things. And he actually replied to my Facebook post and said, I could probably make that happen. And I thought, well, what does he mean by this? So I, I sent him a private message and I said, what, what do you mean? And he said, well, he said, I, you know, I, I'm on the teaching staff there, or, or I was on the teaching staff. I know the director of the facility. I'll ask him for you if you can see it. And I said, what, do you mean play it as well? I said, I'd love to play it. And he said, yeah. He said, people play that guitar. Um, I'll ask him, and within 30 seconds, he got back to me and said, yeah, you can go and do it. Oh, very cool. So a few months later, we booked, and we booked a trip to Chicago, and it was for that purpose for me to have that special moment of actually, I mean, even holding the thing. And, you know, at the time, I was cool as a cucumber. It was like somebody had just passed me my guitar. And then afterwards, I mean, even now, I think, was that just a dream? I think it may be a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So congratulations on your album, actually, because, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, tricky to do it, right? It's hard to motivate yourself to, 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 to record it and then, you know, go through the process, you know. Did you do it all by yourself or did you 
I, I got the tracks recorded at a recording studio here in the Isle of Man, a professional recording studio, and I just did two short sessions, so maybe an hour and a half, two hours, uh, on two different days, and I recorded it as if I was re- uh, uh, playing live, so there's no overdubs, yeah. uh, there's no auto-tune, I just played as if I was playing at the Colour House Theatre, and, um, uh, you know, there was a couple of a couple of tracks there was some false starts, so I did them again, you know. So it wasn't like as if it was a live gig as such. Uh, But, yeah, I'm happy with the results. And then, fortunately for me, when I uh, was over in England in March, I met a guy from a record label called Southern Summer Records. And we were talking at one of the Erin Hart Country Blues duo gigs. And this guy, Graham, um, who's, who's become a friend of mine, uh, he put out CDs by Duck Baker, who's a great fingerstyle guitar player. So what I did was I um, I had had these recordings, and it looked like I was going to do, I guess, all the hard work myself, getting all the covers printed, you know, making it like a self-titled release. But I contacted Graham, and I said, would you be interested in putting out this music? And he said, sure. And because that's what he does, he, you know, you can approach him, and uh, if he likes the project, he'll help you get it out there. So Graham has been absolutely brilliant. He's done the artwork. He's printed all the CDs. Uh, so it's out on a on an official record label, which is really exciting. Well, that's great. So you're going to have CDs with you on um, during the tour? Yes. Um, any any day now, I'll, I will get my stock of CDs and I'll be bringing bringing them with me and uh, and I'll be in well. I'll, I'll have some left for the um, for the Colour House Theatre gig. Oh, that's great, great. Or maybe not. You know, who knows? Maybe there'll be nothing left. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if there's nothing left, that I mean, uh, that would be a great feeling. Yeah, I know we, I mean, as you know, Greg, we're living in an era where people are using Spotify and not buying CDs as much. And I think I'm going to put it on the streaming services too. But right. personally, I, I still like buying CDs. Yeah, and yeah. especially at gigs because you're supporting the artist, and you know, you can get them signed. So you know, when when Toby comes over with his CDs, I'll be get I'll be buying some signed CDs off Toby definitely. Oh, that's great. Oh, if you have a CD, I, I will definitely be getting your CD. Oh, I don't think you'll be interested in my rock CD because it's, you know, a completely different genre, right? I mean, I released I, re- I released something that is not related to blues at all, you know. But Well, if you've still got a copy there, I definitely want a copy. It doesn't matter to me. It's not blues. I'll still enjoy it. Okay, cool. No worries. We'll bring it then. So listen, you know what? Uh, please tell, tell us also something about what you do. I mean, it, on a daily basis, I mean, you are... You are teaching, right? You, I mean, you teach music. You you have this Blue John Media kind of uh, company. Yeah, so the, I guess my main work is as a, a guitar teacher. So, again, we're very similar uh, in, in what we both do. Um, but I have Blue John Media Music Promotion Company. So um, that's involved me putting tours together for different people. And obviously, you know, the, this tour with Toby is part of that. Um, I also book one-off gigs as well, so I'll, I'll bring acts just over to the Isle of Man, but, but won't necessarily book at all for them, but just, uh, as you're doing, you, you know, booking Toby for one day, I'll do that with other people. So I brought over quite a lot of people over here, and this is the third full tour I've put together. Uh, the first one I did was in 2017 with a guy called Ari Isinger, who's a great country blues player, he's amazing, and he's from Philadelphia. So we did a nine-day tour uh, for Ari, which was really good fun. And then earlier this year, I did um, a seven-day tour for uh, the Erin Hart Country Blues duo. I think it should have been eight dates, but one had to be cancelled because um, our ferry from the Isle of Man to England was cancelled and because uh, there was a storm and we couldn't get over there. So that was a bit of a sad... Um, it was disappointing we had to actually cancel one gig but the rest of the tour went extremely well and we went all over the country much the same and and toby's actually is the biggest tour that i've done because it's 12 dates in total and are you gonna be driving in a in a van and not sleeping on in a van or was the the... well uh, it's not that glamorous unfortunately i've got my little renault which will drive us around it will fit all our, our guitars in and our suitcases um, and a, a little bit of backup gear just in case. I know, for example, one of the venues said we have to supply our own instrument cables and stuff. So I was going to take a. I'm going to take some 
gear as a backup, just right. in case, just, just to make sure every base is covered. And just uh, last question, tell me something about the place you live, because it's quite uh, interesting, you know, I mean, for those who, does, who don't know, I mean, it's, it's an island, right? How long does it take to... It is an island. Oh, we have some uh, connection problems. Okay, so so what's the... So so how how long does it take to get to to, to the coast? You know, from from the from the islands. So uh, well, the Isle of Man is in it's off the coast of the northwest of England, and it's in the middle of the Irish Sea between Ireland and England. And there's a couple of ways of getting there. We have an airport, so we have flights from most major um, UK airports: uh, Manchester, Liverpool, uh, London City, Gatwick. Uh, and some other airports as well. And we have a ferry that goes to Haysham, which is in uh, Lancashire, near Lancaster. And we also have a ferry in the summer that goes to Liverpool as well. So there's good transport links. It's a very small place, but it's a very beautiful place. Uh, we have a population of 85,000 people, that's it. So it's pretty tiny population-wise. But there's a lot of live music here. It's so musical. And... Um, We do have a lot of, uh, we have a couple of different festivals during the year. Not, not, I'm not talking like Glastonbury sized, but small festivals that are put on by people. And we have, um, we have a lot of blues gigs. Oh, wow. We have several blues gigs a year. And we used to have, up until I think it was last year, we had an annual blues festival as well. So we've had like John Hammond's been over, Muddy Waters' his son, Mud Morganfield. Last year, I brought Catfish Keith over. Michael Mess has been over. Oh, wow. um, oh there's been so many. Um, Watermelon Slim, Guy Davies, loads of Eric Bibb. Um, so uh, it's, it's just a, it's a great place for music. And yeah, hopefully you'll make it over here someday, uh, Greg. Maybe we can do a gig over here. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, I'm just kind of thinking, you know, I haven't been there. And it's, uh, so how do how, how people normally travel? I mean, do you normally travel by ferry? Is this your preferable... Um, well, it depends. I mean, when I come up, when I come across in a few days' time, I'll be coming by ferry because I'm bringing the car over. Right. But say if I was just visiting London, I would just fly to Gatwick. Right. Um, uh, you know, and, and, and then, you know, just book a hotel or whatever. But, yeah, so the transport links are pretty decent, really. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool. I mean, it just sounds interesting. You know, I, I, I haven't been there, so, you know, I was really curious, you know, about the planes. Okay, so listen, you know, that's it, I think, you know, I mean, obviously people watch it, you know, whoever is interested in, in coming to, 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 to see you and, and, and Toby Walker, you're welcome to come. And then obviously, uh, you know, it's, is it okay if people approach you, you know, for a chat or something, you know, I like chatting to my music, favorite musicians, yeah, so people feel free to chat to us, you know, I mean, I... Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's a big part of it. I mean, I love meeting new people, so yeah. please come and say hello. Please come and say hello to Toby. And Greg, I also want to thank you because um, you're doing a wonderful job in promoting this. Thank you for um, putting on this day. And for anybody watching, this is going to be one hell of a finale for this tour. So if you haven't got tickets for the Colour House Theatre, come to this show because it's going to be something special. It'll be Toby's last night of the tour, and we will be going out with a bang, definitely. Ooh. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks for this interview, and uh, you know what? See you, see you in September, right? Maybe we're going to catch up, you know, in London, you know, with one, at, at one of those gigs, right? But oh, yes. it might be, might be yeah, tricky. Yeah, we would to spend some time with you, Greg, and just hang yeah. out. And uh, like I said, I'm so looking forward to seeing you play as well. Excellent. And likewise. Okay, take it easy, and see you next time. Cheers. See you soon. Thanks, Cheers. Greg. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Henry Hammer from his shoulder. John Henry Hammer from his shoulder. John Henry Hammer from his shoulder. Like a man, but it like a man. This old hammer killed John Henry. This old hammer killed John Henry. This old hammer killed John Henry. But it won't kill me. It won't kill me. This old hammer rings like silver. This old like silver this old hammer rings like silver but it shines like gold but it, it shines like gold shoes in a hand but it shoes in a hand this old hammer killed John Henry this old hammer killed John Henry this old hammer killed John Henry but it won't kill me but it it won't kill me, but it won't kill me, but it, it won't kill me. <laughs>